Feist.com. Some of your fan base are obviously really young, like you've got a huge, you're really big with like why it's called the teeny boppers and all that. Do you feel some kind of responsibility already to... Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I think as soon as you put yourself in, in a spotlight or put yourself in a place where people are going to see you, it kind of is a duty to do the... I mean, whether or not that's... Your, whatever your perception is of what's good, that's what you have to make come across. You, can't, you have to know what you want and, and show that to the world because that's obviously what you think is right. And I, I have a lot of morals and a lot of things I think are right and I feel like it's, it's, it's my, it is my job to uh, portray those as good as I can. Um, it really keeps me grounded, you know, like never to think, put yourself on a platform or whatever. And, and it, it is easy yeah. when, when people are looking at you to uh, put yourself on a platform and I never want that to happen. So it, it, it's good for me to just like say thank you to someone when they, when they compliment you, you know, because that's the least I can do. But you, the reactions are in your MySpace, every like, you seem to have comments every, like whenever you update it, there's probably like a flood of new comments. Yeah. So much it's, love it's out there for you. I know. So, Maybe that's why I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's the thing I've talked to a few bands. So I was actually quite surprised when I, when a band first told me like they were do, they were actually doing their MySpace and all that themselves and their their Mimo and whatever else their whatever else they use yeah. like all those social like, they were actually doing it. Like I always imagined it would be like some PR person or press yeah, person. Yeah, totally. Or I mean, to a certain degree, there's certain sites I can't I can't update. Yeah. Like and Facebook, for example, this is a, this is a funny situation. With Facebook, it, it it's at par with MySpace and importance. Um, reaching people because there, there's a huge audience on Facebook, so I've kind of commissioned someone to take care of it. But it's Commission. I commissioned someone that I invented to take care of it. So his name's Jeremy, and he's a he's a he's a bug, and, he, and it's a it, it's putting a face to the actual person that's taking care of it for me. So I hate the impersonal thing. So even though I can't be there to do it, uh, I've kind of assigned someone that I love and know, and that that I've kind of he's actually a bug, he's a June bug. Watching. So the video for that's on my Facebook page, but it, it is really important that people feel personal connection to the sites that they're interacting with. What is the deal with Facebook in Canada? Like I didn't even know about it until I came here. Like everybody, I've been everybody asked so many. Like, do you have Facebook? Like, I, st I still don't have Facebook, but like it's like face crack. Basically, everybody uh, no, has it. No, crack like, book they call it. Yeah. Like, it's uh, and <laughs> all I my friends have like yeah the updates on their Blackberries and iPhones uh, and it's just like. Funny. It's, it's funny. like the Twitter it's thing though. as well. Like people who update their Twitter. I like I've updated mine like once a week or something. People update it like <laughs> every minute. Like I, <laughs> yeah. I'm breathing. Yeah. Great. Driving right now. <laughs> Stopping for a bathroom break. Okay. So what are your hopes for 2009? I'm going to do a Canada tour in January, as well as some northeastern dates in the states for the month of February, and um, doing a month of work tour next summer. So that'll take us around the states and uh, some some of the Canadian dates as well as um, releasing the full length and um, busy. hopefully playing South by Southwest in, te in Texas, which I'm really looking for. That will be awesome, yeah. And, uh, yeah. You had a little bit of experience of work this year, Yeah, right? we, we played two, yeah. Cool. It was, uh, it, it's, it's a tough thing to be thrown into. It's such an eclectic, like, what, what is your perception of work now? Because it seems to have changed It's changed a lot, a lot but lot, I, yeah. think, I think they're just going with what people want to see, you know, and like, and I, I tried it out last year on Instagram. I mean, I've, I've always been one of those kids that went to work for years and years ago. I would always go. It was always a thing I looked forward to in the summer. And uh, when I went on it last year, I was super honored to be on it. And then I was, I felt like I, it wasn't what I wanted it to be because I didn't do as good as I could. I was sick and everything. So I think this year I'm going to come back and try to tackle it with a little bit more of a, an advantage. <laughs> do you have a New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution? You know what? Not really. I haven't even thought about that. You know, just put out an album and uh, actually one thing is to really work on my drawing skills. I, I'm hoping that one day I can uh, put out a, like a real legitimate graphic novel because I have a lot of great do, ideas. Do you actually do those comics yourself? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can put a little bit more time in uh, honing my artistic skills. And that I can, you know, can I ask you about your tattoos? Like, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. They're actually written in German. Oh, I just speak German. Badly. Something about your father and something going somewhere. <laughs> it basically, it? it's basically saying um, now and always the blessing of your father and stay blameless until the end. Wow. And you've got another tattoo on your back, which I heard about, which I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a kind of a cover piece of Wonder Woman fighting Giganta. I'm a huge comic fan, obviously, so this is one Are of my favorite covers, one of my favorite battles.
Have you ever thought about designing your own tattoos? You... They're all, yeah, I designed them all. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put anything on me that I didn't design. Awesome. Um, <laughs> so the show tonight is going to be terrific that you have happy holidays and all that. Do you have any special message to the world? Like. Putting out new vlogs again starting next year, like every week. Oh, your and then Thursday new comics. Vlog, right? Yeah, yeah, my Thursday vlogs are gonna come back. And um, Lance says, Happy Holidays and Happy New Year. So awesome. do I. <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually, oh, on your, this is for Music Vice, this interview, and uh, actually on the, about your blurb, you say music is your clutch, slash, yeah, something like that, and Vice, <laughs> so, <laughs> awesome. Vice. It's a good, it's like, I thought of that name, like, way back in 2002, I thought it was pretty cool. So. That's all, it's great, because it is, because Vice is something. I sometimes, I ask some love. bands, like, uh, like, is music your Vice, or, and they'll be like, huh? <laughs> like, what, 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 what? <laughs> They should say yes. Yeah, they should just say yes. Unless so. it isn't, and then it's not something they should be doing. <laughs> the usual thing I ask though is, what are some of your vices apart from music? Apart from music? What are some of my vices? Yeah. I would have to say World of Warcraft. <laughs> and um, comics. And uh, old crappy horror movies. And old sci-fi. Any particular old crappy uh, horror oh, movies? Oh yeah. Any, any okay, favorites? it's not crappy, but The Shining is the best movie at all. That's not a crappy movie at all. But, um, and I'm such a fan of like Logan's Run and Barbarella and um, Tron. You know, when you, and you can see the sets and you know it's obviously a set. And same yeah. with like, the old Star Trek. It's so good. It, it really inspired all my music videos and stuff too. Awesome. Uh, you have yourself an awesome new year. Thank you so much, you. It's been terrific meeting you and Pleasure. hopefully see you at some festivals again next year. Enjoy the show tonight. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much.